What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Geek XP. I'm Carson and today we're going to be doing a little bit something different. Uh, we're going to be doing a informative video about what the difference is between native and upscaled resolution. Now I have been wanting to do this for a little while because I feel like there's a lot of confusion out there between what the difference is and a lot of people like throwing around these terms and I feel like sometimes they don't exactly know what they're talking about. So I just wanted to dive into this issue and kind of just maybe clear the slate and set some things right. Uh, so as we can see here, we've got an image. And in this uh, particular video, we're going to be looking at the difference between 720p upscaled to 1080p and 1080p native. So I would highly recommend you put your YouTube setting to 1080p so you can really see the difference. Otherwise, I don't think you're really going to be able to tell. So make sure you set it to 1080p. So here we've got this nice image of this uh, like waterfall landscape. It's a really nice image. And this is right now a native 1080p image. Okay, and I've, I'm zoomed out, zoomed out 50% here in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you a quick example over here of a upscaled 720p image to 1080p. I'm just going to make it visible real quick. And you might not have really noticed the difference. There was a difference. I'm going to click it on and off a few times. Click, 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 click. All right. So you might not have really been able to tell a difference. And since we're so zoomed out, I'm not surprised, honestly. So we're going to do a few different tests to really see what's happening with these. And Real quick, guys, before I start doing that, the definition of upscaling would be taking known pixel values, all everything on the screen is pixels, okay, guys? So known pixel values are taken. And what an algorithm does, your computer does a shit ton of math, That's it's crazy, but what an algorithm does is it takes each pixel individually and averages all the pixels around it, and as you size it up, which is upscaling, it averages all the pixels from one individual one, each and every one, and guesses what the next pixel should look like to make it bigger. We don't have this problem when we're downsizing. It's a lot easier. But when you're upscaling, you're basically creating new information out of this image because it was never supposed to be that big. So I'm going to give you guys a quick little example here. I'm going to zoom in 100%, all right? So we're a little bit closer and we might be able to see a difference here. So let me just, yeah, let's not do that. All right. So we're going to look, we're going to look really closely at the waterfall area right here. So I'm going to toggle on and off the visibility again real quick. And here, I think you're really going to start seeing a difference. I can really notice it here the most. That's where my eyes being drawn. You see, we're losing some detail. And that is what happens when you upscale a smaller image. It's doing its best. It's almost like it's smoothing it out in a sense. And that's the best really that upscaling algorithm can do. And I got to admit, when you're zoomed out, you can't really tell. But when you start getting in there, this is accurate 100% of the image. Yeah, you can see it's kind of smoothing out right here. And this is what, so this is what we can see a lot that happens with like in video games, for instance. One of my favorite games is Mario Kart 8. And that's actually getting re-released soon pretty, uh, I think on April 28th, it's getting re-released. And I'm super excited for it, but on the Wii U, it was a common misconception. People thought it was 1080p 60fps. It was 60fps, but it was not 1080p native. It was 720p upscaled to 1080p. And honestly, most people would be like, well, I can't even tell the difference. And it's hard sometimes, yeah. You can't really tell the difference unless you really look. And But it was 720p upscaled to 1080p. But now we're getting the Switch version, and that has been confirmed to be 1080p native, 60fps. So we're getting a native resolution here, guys, for the new Mario Kart. If anyone cares about that game, I do. So it's kind of cool to see that happening. The Switch is a little bit more powerful than the Wii U. But we also see this happening on uh, DVDs too. With a push to 4K, 
we're seeing a lot of Blu-ray players. Some companies are making up 1080p upscaling 4K Blu-ray players. So your Blu-ray player will be able to better, will look better on a 4K TV. Now, if you want a true 4K experience for your Blu-ray, you need to buy a 4K Blu-ray player. And then you can get true 4K Blu-ray player quality on a 4K display. But for example, I was just over at a friend's house. He had one of these uh, Blu-ray players that can upscale 1080p to 4K. And we popped in a regular DVD, not a Blu-ray DVD. We popped in a DVD and it was, it looked decent. Like we could see it upscaling kind of like it definitely wasn't as clear as if it was like a 4K Blu-ray. But it looked really good in my opinion. Like I'm not a huge, um, I'm not very picky when it comes to that kind of stuff. So it didn't bother me. I was pretty impressed by the upscaling algorithm for the DVD. But yeah, this this is something uh, this is something else for sure. So I'm just gonna quickly zoom in. Let's do 200% real quick. Actually, let's do 300%. Yeah, let's get in there. So we're gonna look in right here. I'm gonna switch it on off. So right now we're on the native 1080p image, and there's the 720 upscaling. Clicked on up 720 upscaling right here. Very kind of blurry when you're really zoomed in. So you can see what the upscaling is doing. And I think this is an uh, old version of Photoshop, so its algorithm might be kind of outdated. There might be better ones out there now. I'm pretty sure there are. But, you know, I'm saving money using the old version of Photoshop. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. So let me just zoom out real quick. So I hope you guys learned something here today um, about what can happen. Uh, if you want to read more into this stuff, go over to the webs this website red.com they do like production cameras and stuff but they have a very good in-depth uh way of like looking at this technology going on this upscaling technology so i would definitely look into this guys i'll leave the link in the description below but yeah if you like this video go ahead and give it a like a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff i really enjoyed kind of doing this more informative video and yeah, we'll see you guys at the next video. All right, bye.